Hi, I'm Kuldeep Oberoi, Senior Engineering Manager in the Sun Developer Tools uh, Group here at Oracle. And I'm Don Kretsch, the Senior Engineering Director for the Sun Developer Tools, also at Oracle. So we're here live from Menlo Park, California at the Oracle campus, and we're here to tell you a little bit about Oracle Solaris Studio 12.2. Last time we uh, were together, we were looking for help and announcing our, uh, our express release and looking for feedback through our customer feedback program, and that's been a resounding success. Um, so I want to say thank you for that. Uh, but we're here really to talk about the latest release, Solaris Studio 12.2. So Don, what's new with Solaris Studio 12.2? So we're really excited about getting 12.2 out the door. Um, it has some great uh, functionality and some great new features in it. Generally, when we talk about our studio tools, we look at it from three perspectives. Number one is we really want to get the best performance on Sun's hardware. Number two, we want to get the take the best advantage of the Solaris operating system, the features in the operating system, as well as the advanced uh, capabilities of the operating system. And number three, we want to make sure it's optimized for developers so they can be most productive using our tools on the Sun platform. Great, so let's, let's go in order. How do, how do developers take advantage of the optimizations? How, how do they maximize uh, the, the performance of their applications? So virtually every, every uh, developer out there uses a C, C++ compiler or Fortran compiler in creating their applications at this level of the stack. And what we do is we take the knowledge of the Spark systems as well as the x86 Intel systems, and we bake it into the optimization and the code generation of the compiler. So we have engineers that work very closely with the chip designers to get the best instruction selection, the, the best instruction sequences, so that by just using the compiler with absolutely no options whatsoever, you'll get the best performing application for, your, for the platform you're, you're targeting. So I can keep my SSC 4A manual on the shelf. I don't need to break it out when I'm uh, writing my, uh, my code? A absolutely. If you want to, you can do that. But, but we have all the microarchitecture support baked into the compiler and the code generator. So there's really no need to do that. You'll get really great performance just using the compiler right out of the box. All right. So no, no. No hand assembly here required. <laughs> so is this just for Spark or is it for x86 as well? So we have Spark support, clearly the, the T series, uh, the M series, the, the larger uh, SMP type boxes, as well as uh, Intel, the, the, uh, the Intel boxes from, from Sun, which are based on the new Nehalem and Westmere uh, platforms from the Intel Corporation. So we're, we're announcing benchmarks all the time, world record benchmarks on both Spark and x86, whatever flavors of of those architectures, uh, we cover them all, it seems. A absolutely. There, there's uh, so many benchmarks, I can't even number the, name them all. There, there's you know, you know, hundreds of benchmarks over the years we've gotten. And in this latest release, I believe the number is about 12 to 15 that we've, we've logged just for the 12.2 release itself. Great. So part of the name of Solaris Studio is Solaris, which brings us to your second point about uh, optimizing for development on, on the Solaris operating system. How does Solaris Studio help with that? <clears throat> so Solaris has some really uh, great advanced features uh, for multi-threaded, multi-core type systems, uh, be it the scheduler, be it the, the MT-hot libraries that are available, uh, the commands, uh, and, 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 and of course, we have uh, counterparts in the tools to take advantage of those. Uh, so we have support, uh, I think everyone by now has heard of, uh, of Solaris' support for D-Trace. It's their system-wide observability tool. Right. So we have capabilities um, in a new tool we've introduced called Delight, and the Delight tool allows you to take advantage in a, in a more developer-friendly, easier, more approachable way of the D-Trace functionality that's baked into Solaris. Delight Do I need see. to know D-Trace uh, to take advantage of Delight? Um, there's a bunch of D-Trace scripts that are already defined in the tool, so you can literally drag and drop them and just run them directly. If you prefer to extend them for uh, special customizations you need, then you can always do that as well. Okay. Great. And in terms of compatibility, you know, one of the virtues of Solaris has been its binary compatibility. How does Solaris Studio play into that? So binary compatibility has been a hallmark of Sun and, and Solaris systems for a number of years, and since literally the Solaris 2.0 release back in the early uh, 90s. And we continue that, that tradition going forward under Oracle. So if you were to use uh, the Studio 12.2 release, you could generate any object files, shared objects, uh, uh, .o object files, and link them with any previous version uh, of, of object files produced with earlier versions of the Studio family. And they will all link and be compatible against the Solaris operating system. OK, great. And the third uh, point you were making around developer productivity, and maybe to translate, that really means developers walking out the door at 6 PM every day and being able to take their, their vacation. <laughs> so how does Solaris Studio help 
<laughs> in that effort. So you really want to get developers to make the best performing apps, but at the same time, you don't want to be spending you know, enormous amounts of time to get there. So it's writing fast apps and it's writing them faster. And so we try to give you tools to, to help you write the applications faster. Um, they have to be correct and they have to be, uh, uh, be done within the budget uh, limit that you have within your project. So we have tools like a performance analyzer. Performance analyzer works with C and C++ as well as Java code as well. That gives you great insights to the multi-threaded aspects of your, of your program to show where you're using system resources. Uh, we have another tool called Thread Analyzer. Thread Analyzer will help you uh, find uh, uh, race uh, conditions and deadlock conditions in your code, mm -hmm. which is uh, uh, just a horrible uh, problem when you're writing multi-threaded right. code. Very easy to fall into those, those situations. Um, we have some new tools in, in, in Studio 12.2, and the new tools have to cover things like, like memory uh, checking. So memory checking, you want an application on the server to be, to be secure. You don't want to be overrunning buffers. You don't want hackers coming in. Um, and somehow taking advantage or, or, or compromising your server application. Right. So getting you know, memory uh, allocation done correctly and making sure that your application is using memory efficiently. We have a new memory tool for that, as well as some code coverage tools to help make sure that you're covering the, the, the vast amount of code you're running on in your application. Okay, great. So you know, help developers maximize the performance of their applications, take full advantage of the features within Solaris for compatibility and observability, and then finally, the tools to allow developers to get their jobs done faster by having memory debuggers, debuggers, threat analysis, performance analysis, and a variety of tools to, to allow them to get their job done you know, faster. That's it. So this all sounds great. How much does it cost? So uh, the co the, all the code, the product, is, is free for download from the OTN website. And so you can use the uh, Studio 12 toolset for both development mode as well as production mode. You can create production applications and deploy them using the Studio, Studio toolset for no, um, no license fees associated with that. Uh, service patches support is available through an a Oracle uh, Premier support contract. Uh, which is available also. The information about that is available on the OTN site as well. And so where should our users go to download the latest release? So you can get this release as well as joining the, the community and the white papers we have about this release at www.oracle.com slash go to, G-O-T-O, slash Solaris Studio. Uh, go to that website and any, any link on there will, will get you to the uh, OTN site for, for download and white papers. Great. Thanks, Don, for the scoop. Okay, thank See you. See you next time.